This will be my final review of the Wolfheart E5 Star Gem after playing with it for a couple of days now at rank 6 and slowly trying to upgrade it to the rank 7. I have played a lot of PvP and I have done a ton of PvE as well and this will be the truth of the new 5 star gem in my humble opinion and for this I have written a couple of key points what I think about this gem and that is what I want to share here with you also wolf heart five star gem final review and couple of points that i have written here you should be able to see that on your screen so number one this gem is best used with damage over time build for pve and pvp if you don't have everlasting seeping bar wiper bite this gem is in that great in my personal opinion you won't be marking enemies at all like only a couple of times and that's it so this gem is adding another layer to damage over time build and that is how it should be used and if you are missing damage over time gems then this gem isn't going to be the best for you number two in most daily pve content monster die before reaching five mark could be the elder rift could be the open world farm could be the bounties and even inside of dungeon in a good team of four plays monsters are going to die even before you will hit them once uh, with the wolf heart gem so inside of dungeons it will only be working versus the bosses which will be good but versus uh, monsters you won't be reaching five mark uh, before monsters dies that is my personal opinion at around 5k reso if you are lower reso less damage maybe you will be seeing the trigger of the marks a lot more number three perform best in hard pve content such as general rift challenge rift raid bosses and vanguard these are the few modes where i was actually able to get a ton of mark and ton of damage out of this gem to perform really good in these uh, mods but again like i mentioned with my first uh, point here you need to have a damage over time build and then you will get a really good result in some what hard content hard pve content and lastly number four in my humble opinion best use of this gem is going to be pvp with a full dot build setup that is where this gem will shine and uh, make uh, things uh, a lot more fun or a lot more easier for you if you are an acromancer or any any class that utilize a lot of dot damage with high potency grace of the fledgerant and even you can go at the augment uh, and that is where this gem is truly going to shine now my ranking for this gem i have individual ranking for different uh, mores for this gem for example s tier with full dot build setup for pvp perform really good a tier with dot builds for pve i forget to add dot here but with a dot setup this gem is somewhat a tier in hard content in easy content you won't be marking like i said enemies all that much and the C tier with a direct damage build, not good for PvE and uh, PvP. So there we go, my final review, the truth of this gem after playing with it for more than a week now and at rank 6. And uh, let me know in the comment section down below what are your thoughts. I'm signing off, see you all in the next one, later.